Premiership game on before this game here this afternoon? Uh, it's an absolute immaculate carpet. They've had that resurfaced, you know, at the start of the or earlier before the, the uh, year ended, and it's in a great condition. Fantastic. Yeah, the surface here at Westpac has been relayed for the first time since the venue opened in 2000. It is looking an absolute picture, as uh, Siggy confirmed. No problem with the playing surface, that's for sure. Here's Galloway for the Mariners. Cut out by Lee and now Bonavazia. He's played more passes this season, Rolly Bonavazia, than any of his teammates. It'd be good to see him getting forward and getting into some goal scoring positions, Rolly, because he was, you know, in the, in the last few years he's been scoring some great goals. We need to see a little bit more attacking, I think, from uh, Rolly because he's a Here, fantastic player. Here's the pace of Arpia, gets the ball across, it skims off the shin of Marco Rossi, which was enough to divert it away from O'Donovan. So that is one asset that Wabena Arpia has in spades, and that is pace. He can move. There's Bonavazia now trying to get into one of those positions Ben Sigmund mentioned, it smelts out wide. He bounced for Barbarousas out to Bonavazia. Now Rodriguez. Wide left now a chance for McGlinchy. The crowd rise in their seats as McGlinchy shoots. McGlinchy scores. What a way to announce yourself back in the starting side. Michael McGlinchy bites the hand that used to feed him. The Phoenix lead 1-0. A super start by Mike McGlinchy. Just drifting out to the left-hand side. He had a nice ball from Bonavazia. Good early pass. You see him just cutting inside on his right foot. He passed the, the challenge of Storm Root. Hard and low, down to the right of Paul Izzo. 1-0 to the Phoenix. Great start. First goal of the season for Michael McGlinchey. A crucial one, too. And he really is a confidence player. The 19th goal of his A-League career. And this is 176th game. Real boost for Michael McGlinchey personally. And the Phoenix as a team, Siggy. Yeah, Rowley played a nice little ball through, which is good to see. So hopefully he can carry that on. And Central Coast were disappointed because they've had most of the possession, I think. I just think that was a, an instance there where they more that moved the ball quite quick in midfield from Rodriguez through to Bonavazio and just that, that the rhythm and the pace of the nice weighted ball from Bonavazio into McGlinchey. Yeah, he's still a little bit of work to do, didn't he, Michael McGlinchey, when he received that ball? But you could just feel the energy of the crowd when he did, and uh, well, he certainly didn't disappoint. The Mariners concede their 32nd goal of the season. They've conceded the first goal now 12 times this season. And of the previous 11, they've won just one. Drawn three and lost seven. So they don't go great when they go behind. But as we've seen in the last couple of weeks, they are well capable of putting it with any side in this A-League. Here's Bonavazia's pass again, Harry. Yeah, just a nice early ball from Bonavazia. Traditionally, he's usually taken that on another pace or two, but he's slid that one through to McGlinchey. Nice weighted pass. Nice way to make your return, particularly at home for Mike McGlinchey to score his first goal. The Phoenix come again through. Barbarousas tries to feed Bonavazia. McGing having none of it. Oh, they're uh, singing and dancing in the rain in Wellington early on. I've got to tell you, the Yellow Fever have embarked today on their traditional once-a-year pre-game pub crawl. It normally takes place before the last home game before Christmas. But that was in Auckland this season, so it was rescheduled until today. They call it the 12 pubs of Lockhead after former player Tony Lockhead. So they're in fine voice, the Yellow Fever today. Here's Ferreira trying to silence them. Rebounds off Rossi into Moss's grateful hands. Ferreira did well to get round those two players here, didn't he? Dangerous player, Fabio Ferreira. In a gold drought, as I mentioned, pre-game, but certainly add him to Payne, Arpia and O'Donovan and it's not a bad attacking quartet as Barbarous is looking to seize onto the ball from Rodriguez which will skim away from him He's made the goalkeeping spot his own here at the Mariners this season. Four seasons at Adelaide, during which he only played six games. Came to the Mariners last season, played 21 times, and also the majority of games 
for the side this season. Ivan Nachevsky has been very much relegated to a backup role. Do you think he would have been disappointed to get done near post in that goal? Well, I can't speak from a goalkeeper's point of view, having never been one. Harry, you might have an answer to that, being a former striker. I mean, goalkeepers never like it down there, do they, when, no, when they get beaten near post? No, particularly when you've got sort of a couple of bodies in front of you, and you'd be interested to see you know, what sort of line where the Storm Roo was in his line of vision. But as, as always, the keepers always try and protect that near post, don't they? Yeah, I would have thought so. It's good timing, too, for Monty Glenshaw, particularly coming back after you said sort of haven't played since uh, early November. Now we're going, going into heading into uh, World Cup qualifying territory in March against BJ. So it's a you know a good timing of uh, for Mike McGlinch to get back to full fitness. Yeah, Storm Roo's the other one, isn't he? He hasn't played for the All Whites much recently. Um, not since March of 2015. From uh, from my count, seven caps for New Zealand in successive games. In fact. He made his debut here at Westpac Stadium against Mexico, Mexico in that uh, yeah, intercontinental playoff in 2013. Played seven straight games under Neil Emblen, firstly, and then Anthony Hudson, but hasn't been picked for a while. I'm just wondering whether it was from that. You know, remember they with the eligibility with all the, you know, whether he's South African or, or Kiwi. I'm wondering since then he hasn't really been back in when they had all those problems. Yeah, he's had the odd uh, injury as well, hasn't he? So, oh, I mean, yeah. he's, a, he's a guy you'd love to have in there, but uh, New Zealand's building some nice depth in the uh, fullback positions now especially over on the left you've got Tom Doyle Kip Colby Declan Wynn of course Liam Graham who's uh, who's now come into the fold from Chesterfield in England so yeah there's some good competition for those fullback spots now and Storm Root certainly has got plenty of time to be involved in the national fold again if indeed his eligibility is confirmed Galloway for the Mariners outside in Payne who's been quiet early Phoenix haven't conceded a goal in the first 15 minutes of any game this season. And they're approaching the point where they can chalk up another one. Montgomery is certainly playing in that uh, midfield role. He has to take it off him by Rodriguez, who tries to slide one through to Lynch. <laughs> Leon out. Barbarousis. Still nice first time passing. Bonavarts here. Rodriguez now. Lovely from the Phoenix. The crowd like this. McGlinchey running at Rue again. Will he fire a shot? He will. This one goes into the back of Storm Rue. And Michael McGlinchey may well shepherd this one out for the first corner of the evening. Yeah, you get a sense of that, that energy you talked about earlier, Piney, when they move the ball quickly. A good sequence of passing again with Mike McGlinchey popping up on the left-hand side with a bit of space. McGlinchey will take the corner. Delivery's good. Izzo doesn't come. It's uh, not clear first time by McKing and then hacked away. Bit of uncertainty there in the Mariners' defence. Helped back in by Durante. It's better contact from McKing that time. And the here with some trickery in midfield. McGlinchey again. Certainly on the ball a lot in the first 16 minutes of this one. Michael McGlinchey doesn't look like he's been away at all and it certainly shows how much they've missed him during the last two months. This goes to show too when Rolly Bonavarsi is getting, getting on the ball and, and influential in the, the opening 16 or 17 minutes that really uh, helps the momentum of the Phoenix, particularly in those attacking positions. Delivery's good again. Tom Doyle went down in the penalty area and appealed to the referee for a free kick. Didn't get one and the Mariners now will earn a free kick for the foul on Connor Payne. Talking about McGlinchey, you know, he had a his knee he had knee problems, you know, for a good six months, you know, and he just kept playing on it. It just shows you he's he's rested now and he's looking really sharp. So, you know, I think it's a great thing that would have been hard for him to be on the sideline resting it, but I think, you know, looking at him, he's looking really sharp. Well, yeah, long-term pitcher, isn't it, Siggy? I mean, he missed those two games against New Caledonia, World Cup qualifiers late last year, but he's, he is looking sharp, you're right. They haven't rushed him back either. They toyed with the idea of having him in the match day squad on New Year's Day against Adelaide, decided not to, didn't take him to Perth, or if they did, they certainly didn't use him. So maybe that extra week to 10 days to a fortnight has, has helped at the end of his recovery, and he's certainly out there now. If you 